One of the most challenging things when it comes to macro photography is dealing with the shallow depth of field. But luckily there's a way to increase the depth of field in your photos by using a technique called focus stacking. In this video, I'm going to talk about what focus stacking is and give you tips on how you can improve your handheld stacking techniques. Focus stacking is the combination of two or more images that are focused on different parts of the subject, which are then combined using editing software such as Photoshop to create one final image with a deeper depth of field. Focus stacking is a vital tool, especially when it comes to macro photography, but it can be tricky at times, especially for beginners. So let's start with the basics. Starting off with the camera. You don't need an expensive camera or a camera with focus bracketing to achieve good stacks. It's all about the technique. Most of the shots in this video were taken with my old Nikon D3400, which is an entry level DSLR camera with no bracketing system. The main point of that is you can focus stack with any camera. If you are a beginner and you want to finally give focus stacking a try, then it is best to practice with inanimate objects you find around your house. Back when I first started practicing with focus stacking, I used dead bugs that I found, but anything that isn't alive will work. Getting a good quality stack is all about the technique and if you are new to focus stacking then I recommend using a tripod at first because starting off right away with handheld can be particularly challenging for a beginner. I recommend to always shoot your stacks in manual mode so you will have complete control over what parts you want in focus. When you start your stack, always start at the front of your subject and slowly work your way forward. Have your left hand on the lens for extra support and your right hand on the shutter. And after each shot, slowly move forward and take another shot. I recommend practicing like this before practicing on live subjects out in the field if you have little to no experience with stacking. When you finally feel like you are ready to try stacking on live subjects, then I recommend ditching the tripod and try hand holding. And there are a few reasons why I recommend it. For one, carrying a tripod around is just extra weight to carry. Two, setting up your camera on the tripod takes time and sometimes with macro photography, some subjects will not stay in one spot very long, so time is crucial. And lastly, as long as you have a flash, most of the time, that is enough to freeze any motion. The best time of the day to go out and attempt focus stacks is in the mornings when it's cooler outside because this is the time period when most bugs are still resting and it is too cold for them to move so it makes things much easier if you are new to stacking. You can go out at any time of the day and get good stacks but if you are new or need more practice then I recommend going out in the morning. The biggest challenge when it comes to handheld stacking is stabilizing your camera. It can be very challenging and frustrating at times, but it is possible to still come away with a quality stack most of the time. And in this section, I'm going to give you some stabilization tips and methods for different scenarios you will find yourself in when shooting out in the field. Starting off with the easiest method of stacking, which is the continuous shooting method. I don't recommend using a flash for this method because most flashes will not recycle fast enough to keep up with continuous shooting. When I am shooting in natural light, I will usually have my shutter speed between 1 200th and 1 500th of a second so I can avoid any motion blur and so I can get each part of the subject in focus and sharp. In this example, the subject was on the ground and these types of stacks are the easiest because of the extra stability you have while on the ground. You want to have one hand on the bottom of the lens and the other holding the camera grip. Start focusing on the front of your subject and once you start taking photos, slowly move your camera forward while you are still taking photos.
for scenarios like this when the subject isn't on the ground but pretty low to the ground start by planting one knee down and rest one elbow on the opposite leg have one hand holding the lens and the other on the camera grip i recommend having your shutter speed no slower than 1 3 20th of a second and as you start taking pics move forward slowly while holding the shutter button Scenarios like this will take a lot of practice to get good at just because you have no extra arm support while you're moving. But the key to successful stacks in situations like this is to hold your camera as steady as possible during the stack. Shooting focus stacks with a flash is a little more challenging than natural light stacks because you must take each shot individually since a flash cannot recycle quick enough when shooting in continuous mode. I recommend keeping your flash power anywhere between 1 4th power and 1 32nd power so it can recycle quicker and be ready for your next shot. Scenarios like this example when the subjects are on plants or twigs Hold the plant in one hand and place your camera on the hand that is holding the plant. Having the camera on the hand that is holding the plant makes moving forward after each shot so much easier. But just keep in mind that grabbing whatever the subject is on could scare it away depending on what it is. So be as gentle as possible when grabbing it. The hardest type of handheld stack is freehand with flash because a lot of things must go right for it to turn out good, such as a subject that will not move, no wind, and a very steady hand. For this example, I wanted a full body shot of this link spider and my hand would have been in the shot if I was holding the plant stem and I didn't want that. The key for scenarios like this is to have your flash power on the lower side like 1 16th or lower so the flash can recycle as quickly as possible and have one hand holding your lens like in this example and have your elbows close together for extra stability. Stacking your photos in software such as Photoshop is a pretty simple process. But the more pics there are in your stack, the longer it's going to take to stack the photo. A few things to keep in mind is if your subject move or if you move your camera while you were taking the photos, then you will get some bad quality results like these. But sometimes as long as the stack didn't come out too bad, then it is fixable such as these two examples here. Sometimes even when your stack is good, it will come out bad in Photoshop sometimes. That's just the way it is. But I made a whole video on editing stacks and how to fix them and I will link that video in the description if you want to check that out. Handheld focus stacking is something that will probably take most people a long time to master. It can be very frustrating at times and just expect that throughout your journey. And also, just expect lots of failed attempts. I know for a fact that I have way more failed stack attempts than ones that turned out good, so don't stress too much over failures because it will happen often. The key to improving is constant practice and repetition on your techniques. A lot of time and effort goes into this, but the final result is definitely worth it sometimes, and it can take your macro photography to the next level. 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to help if I can. And if you like this video, then make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.